main appealing thing of walking safaris is to get guests out of the vehicle. For me, it's much more an experience of the senses. You know, if you sit in a vehicle the whole time, it's really hard to smell and listen and have those senses work for you. But when you're out on foot and there's actually animals around you that can eat you, you tend to listen and look and smell a little bit better. You know, that's, that's kind of what's really special about walking in the bush in Africa. I think walking in Serengeti especially is really nice. Of course, you've got always the element of you might run into the migration and do a bit of your walk with um, literally thousands of animals all around you. Uh, but it's also this walking in fairly open plains. Uh, this morning we went on a walk and uh, went and had nice breakfast out in a rock copy about four kilometers from camp. You know, it was just these great views all around us all the time. So when we're out on a walk, um, the type of animals we see can be really any of the African mammals and general animals that you find in Africa. Will there be zebras, hearted beasts, giraffes? It's not so common to run into the predators, lions and leopards, although um, we've had a few very nice encounters with leopards, with finding leopards on a kill up in a tree, getting ourselves in a nice downwind position where the leopard can't see us, and we've had time to sit with that leopard for about, about 30 minutes before it even noticed us. And then besides the mammals, of course, there's all the smaller things um, that we like to focus on. The things that you tend to miss when you're inside a vehicle. Um, of course, there's all the birds and being out on foot. Uh, it's not only seeing the bird, but it's hearing the bird as well. Yes, but then also things like reptiles, um, the small lizards, snakes, uh, the insects. You know, so being out on foot, everything starts to come together and the bush is not like a one-dimensional thing that you see through a vehicle, you know, but it, you, you start to understand the smaller things in the bush that makes you appreciate the bigger things so much better. One should be out in the, in the bush on a walk and enjoy this rugged terrain and area and we, we provide all our guests with very good sleep and very good food. So our tents are dome tents, it's to about 2.5 by 2.5 meters. Um, sleeping is on a thick foam mattress in, um, in cotton bedding and our food is all three course meals. There's hot waters for showers, there's, you know, so there's nothing primitive about this camp. It's not like you're eating in your lap and hanging your food in the trees. It's, um, it's really comfortable and for any walk of life to enjoy.